A360, the next one is the uppercut. And the uppercut can be thrown off the lead hand or the rear hand. And the idea with the uppercut is I'm trying to come between the arms of my opponent. And that could be from a setup, it could be just thrown straight there, thinking they're gonna think maybe it's a cross or a hook. And so the, the, the fundamental is this, one. As I'm turning my palm to me, to where my fist faces me and my knuckles are making the connection. Now there's a few different ways as far as body motion to do it. It depends on uh, what your goal is in the fight. If I'm just trying to kind of distract, I'm not trying to put a lot of power into it, this is one option. But one thing we want to definitely watch for is opening ourselves up to throw it. And so we don't want to scoop that arm down. And so if I'm in the fight or doing a combination, I may lower myself a little bit and then use my legs to help drive me up to get some momentum behind my uh, uppercut. Same idea with the other side. As I rotate to my left, I'm gonna drop my knee a little bit. And as I come back through, I send my left hand forward and I make a piston motion with my arm. Again, having that type of a last minute snap or last minute zing. So from here, hush, 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 hush. So I wanna make sure that everything is nice and tight. I'm protected on both sides and I'm not opening myself up to being punched. And so in the series of one through four, we're actually gonna call five and six the uppercuts. And so one, two, three, four, five, six. And so this is the uppercut.